Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you another vegan recipe. I know a lot of you uh, started eating more vegan or more healthier plant-based diet and more vegetarian dish. So I turned one of your favorite food, which is orange chicken, into orange chicken last cauliflower. Let's get started. First, let's prepare our cauliflower. So cut the cauliflower into a bite size. And we are going to marinate them with a teaspoon of soy sauce and a little pinch of white or black pepper. Toast it with your hand until cauliflower is evenly coated with the marinade and set aside. We don't have to marinate them like two hours or overnight or anything like that. We just need to let them sit while we are preparing other ingredients. So go ahead and chop two cloves of garlic and one teaspoon of ginger. Set aside and let's mix up the sauce for this delicious orange chicken last cauliflower. So in a small mixing bowl, combine two teaspoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sambal, one tablespoon of raw sugar or agave nectar, two teaspoons of vegetarian oyster sauce. So the name, it says the vegetarian oyster sauce, but there is no oyster in it, okay? It's made with mushrooms. So feel free to use it for vegetarian dish. One teaspoon of hoisin sauce, fresh juice from one orange. You also could add the orange zest. For my personal taste, orange zest doesn't perform that well or combine that well with this Asian flavors, to be honest. But orange juice does, so yeah, I'm adding only orange juice. A tablespoon of rice vinegar for a nice and tanginess, and a teaspoon of cornstarch that will thicken up the sauce later. Mix well and set aside. And let's make the batter. In a mixing bowl, combine half cup of chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is a really great option for gluten-free or like a low-carb addition, but obviously my sauce or other ingredients I'm gonna put it in doesn't have to do anything with the gluten-free or <laughs> anything like that. But, but it's good to have in your kitchen, okay? One third cup of rice flour. So this rice flour also doesn't have any gluten in it and it will make the batter really nice and crispy. Pinch of salt and white or black pepper. Whisk them all together and pour three quarter cup of cold water. Make sure it's nice and cold or even icy. The batter is ready. Cauliflower has been marinated. The sauce is ready to go. So let's start the deep frying our cauliflower. So dip cauliflowers into the batter and fry in 350 degrees preheated oil for five to six minutes. Place the fried cauliflower on a baking dish that lined with a cooling rack. The cauliflowers are nice and crispy. They are so delicious right now, like just the simple salt. So good, but I'm going to make the orange chicken last cauliflower sauce. So heat a wok over high heat. Add three tablespoons of cooking oil. Then the garlic and ginger we chopped earlier. Stir fry garlic and ginger about 30 seconds to one minute or until you can smell the aroma. Then pour the sauce mixture. Bring the sauce to boil and let it boil 30 seconds to one minute or until the sauce is nice and glossy and thick. Now go ahead and add fried chicken less cauliflower <laughs> into the sauce and toss everything together. Turn off the heat, sprinkle with some sesame seeds right on top because Asian at home is not, not completed without sesame bag. Because I cannot finish my dish without sesame seeds right on top. Question? Yeah? Who said that sweet potato starch was easy to find? I said that. Yeah, because me and Hanyo were the ones that had to go find it. <laughs> well, because you didn't know what you're looking at. Yeah, we did. We even asked the people. Oh, they and they didn't, they didn't know? So this, this looks like chicken. Like I know, right? Mmm. That's good. There used to be some steamed rice and steamed vegetables together. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, 
Must try recipe. It's been a while. We filmed it like this all together at the end. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thumbs up for that. Our mukbang That's is awesome. back. <laughs> That's awesome. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And if you like my this vegan recipe or plant-based orange chickenless cauliflower recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeon Longast. I'm Jacob Longest. And I'm Anyo Kim. And this is Asian at Home. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah.